In a world of struggling builds, only one exile can save them. Only one exile can save their builds. Build Bob. Coming to YouTube near you. Very near. Hi, I'm Bob. Nice to meet you. I help people with builds. And I use my axe. Ready yourself. I will be waiting. Hello. My name is Bob, and uh, I'm here to help you with your builds. This is our first episode, and uh, we have a, uh, a first-time caller who's joining us today. Uh, thank you so much, Rec, for, um, for joining us. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, I'm Recreation, a long-time viewer of Zizarin. Who's Zizarin? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your build, Rec. Well, it is a totem build. Totem build with a caustic arrow of poison. Primarily kind of takes on the idea of EA, but moves it more towards poison. All right, well, let's load up the screen share on Discord and uh, we're gonna we're gonna check out your build. All right, so uh, first, if you can go ahead and load up a map there for us, what kind of maps have you been doing? And I can see you're playing a uh, hardcore mode there. That's uh, that's quite impressive, Rick. I've only ever played hardcore just because it's more fun that way. I've mainly been doing tier 11s and 12s, so I'll do a tier 11 for now. All right. Um, Let's show me show me what we're working with here, and we'll we'll see if we can make it better. All righty. So generally, I have uh, five totems, and they all um, cluster the, the, the caustic arrow into like a overlapping damage. So it does a lot of damage relatively quickly uh, but it builds up on bosses as well so it's okay for clear uh, and pretty good with bosses uh, i'm still lacking a lot of damage to the pier and such yeah but... i see that it looks like uh there's this one streamer from new zealand and he has a similar problem to you we're gonna see if we can take a look at your profile here in a minute and see if we can sort it out let me see how the the damage looks on the boss there and uh yeah we'll take a quick peek at what we can do for you Alrighty. Don't remember the boss for this one. But... Oh, it's dude. Okay. Yeah, they can be quite tricky. And the totem is also dying very quickly here. So, uh, is this some sort of support build? Like, are you on the monster side? <laughs> I think we're just uh, getting a little bit anxious here, so maybe we just go ahead and leave and we, uh, we let these live to fight another day. I just don't want you to die here. Oh, they're going um, down. Yeah, I, this is literally how I play, so uh, it's not great, but I kind of live. Hey, you did it! Okay, everyone, we have received Bob's report on this. It is really hard to read. His handwriting is pretty bad, and this is the situation. The build struggles a little bit with damage. He's using way too many points on suppression and things like that. He's not using wither at all. And he's got some tank issues as well. It was a little bit hard for Bob to know what to do here because it's a build that Bob isn't familiar with. It's using a new T-Gem, but there's a lot of easy fixes like uh, going towards a 21 gem, swapping to life tap and fitting an extra aura in, needing more attack speed on the bow. And some of the gear pieces is really bad. So that's what we're going to address first. This is great. I have a lot to work with. I got my work cut out for me here and my trusty axe. I got my axe at my side and we're going to help you make a great build. That's how we forge weapons here. Rec, I've never seen a build quite like this, but we're going to we're going to see what we can do. So I'm going to open your profile here and have a look at it. All right, let's see. So you have a really good bow there. That's amazing. That's a great start. How'd you make that? Uh, just rocked it. Really lucky. Uh, I did a roll. And then four um, rolls afterwards was upgrade three things. And they were the only three things there, plus the uh, cold resistance. That's amazing. So kept upgrading. So um, so you might not know this, but there was actually a higher attack speed upgrade, and that's quite cheap. And uh, speaking of currency, what kind of what kind of budget we're working with there? Uh, well, I have uh, 130C, and then I've got four div as well. So. Well, that's amazing. I'm happy to announce that uh, Bob's services are actually free, so you don't have to pay anything. 
and uh, we're, we're going to be uh, helping you and using your currency to actually buy items for you. So uh, I, I see that there's quite a lot we can do here and we're going to fix you right up. Uh, you actually already have a really good gear. I was kind of hoping you were a worse player, but we're going to, we have, we have a lot we can do here. So first off, we're going to see if we can uh, get somebody to craft you that attack speed. Um, I'm guessing you don't have the craft yourself. Attack and cast speed rank three, Crimson Temple. What tier is uh, Crimson Temple's like tier 11, right? You have a Crimson yeah. Temple. All right, let's just throw in a white one. Make sure you don't die. And uh, I think we're just going to go for the recipe on this one. Now, Crimson Temple can have a lot of scary modifiers like Revenants and stuff. So we're, we're just going to run straight through top left. Go to the boss and uh, yeah, up there it is. Just like no backtracking. Just keep going through those monsters. And uh, it'll be really bad for Bob if you uh, if you die here. So I might get fired. There's the recipe. All right. Now, the boss is pretty safe. So you could just go into the boss. And then kill that. If you die to this, then well, maybe I don't get <laughs> fired. Maybe a different game is in order for me. Exactly. Have you heard about Diablo good. 4? I and love that game. It's amazing. I don't have to think. So now you got a big upgrade already. This is what Bob's mm. all about. Now you have a really nice bow, so you probably want to top roll that, which is gonna cost you some of the currency. You're gonna need one exalted orb. So go ahead and buy one for me. And that one blind. There it is. Amazing! You got the top roll. I'm so happy for you. All right, I have a I have a bit of a chore for you. You're actually gonna have to start doing the league mechanic and upgrading because I think I really want to fit bark skin on your build. So what you're gonna go do is you're gonna go to the waypoint and then you're gonna open um, the desecrated chambers. Desecrated chambers. Yeah, nice. so this is going to be really fast. It's going to be really um, efficient and it's going to be safe, which is great for you as a hardcore player because you don't want to die. <laughs> I do not, indeed. All right. So you just want to keep following the yellow line whenever you see it. And uh, I would just pretty much like head face first onto the mist and, uh, and just keep going. There's some yellow right there. Right, and now we're just going to do this over and over again until you have it. I wonder if they're ever going to change the, the blue color. Yeah, it's very hard mm -hmm. to see. It's basically invisible. Bob can't see too good, so Bob will guide you. I got this. Oh, I did. So, yeah, it's straight to your left. I can uh, I see her in the distance there. Oh, okay. She's, uh, go, uh, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, more more okay. left. Totally. Yep. Totally Bob, Bob knows. I have a nose for okay. these things. All right, I'm trusting you. Um... No, this is the this is the wrong left. Go uh north left. <laughs> and then uh the other left. Okay. Yeah, that one. That that left. Right. And then um and go north here. And now uh no, yep. Oh. So yeah. I thought um so she was here. So you can see her like yep, she was totally here. Um she told me she'd be here. So uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. You know, women, sometimes they lie. Hey. There it is. We found her. All right, amazing. All right, you can go ahead and leave now, and we're going to allocate bark skin. That should help you a lot. So uh, now we're going to have to look for some new gear for you, especially looking at some new boots. So with that in mind, Bob quickly gets to fixing all the pieces of gear necessary. Take it away, Bob. So first, we want some suppression. Okay. Right, so uh, these boots are really good. We're going to see if we can snag them for one divine because they're really, really nice. You know, it never hurts to haggle. That guy's a really nice guy. I'm sure he'll do it. Damn it. That's going to be a new one. All right, back to the drawing board. Bob quickly found out that the hardcore trading market is more dead than my champion after a single lost might. So we had to resort to crafting on fractured bases. All right, Bob's going to teach you some crafting. So go ahead and buy this and we're going to craft an item with you. All right, what the... All right, mm -hmm. let's throw uh, some of your screaming greeds on it. You have five screaming greeds. Uh, that's really good. We'll keep that. <laughs> yeah. All That's right. great. That's kind of perfect. Yeah. 
See, I told you I know the guy that owns this game. All right, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and craft movement speed, see if we can get a 24. Uh, one more. Yeah, there it is. Much better. Now, um, let's actually go ahead and four link these. So I know that you're getting movement speed from your ascendancy right now, but we're actually gonna have to give that up. So what I want you to do is we're gonna switch you to a full life tap setup. So that's because I really want to fit bark skin and you're actually really close to fitting that right now. All right, so Bob's going to teach you a nice tip. So uh, I'm going to work with you here and we're going to find out like all the different stats. So uh, we're going to, this is what we're going to search for. And uh, I think you need at least a 3%. Actually, let's double check that. So uh, I'm going to use a Herald of Agony to simulate because they're both 25%. Mm -hmm. You might not, you might only need a 2%. Yeah, we can make do with a 2%. That's amazing. All right. So yeah. we're going to search for a 2% now. And I don't know if you know about this, but you can do some really good searches. So uh, we're going to add a new one, which is going to be a count search. And we're going to search for all the things that could be good for your build. There's so many stats that you can use that are really good for you. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to first, we're going to search for three stat ones and uh, we can probably throw in some attack speed, mm -hmm, some attack mm -hmm. and cast speed. This isn't as good, but like we don't have that much money. So we want to make it go as far as we can go. Do you think area of effect would also be a good one? Um, so I don't think that's going to scale the poison and there's no uh, AOE on a jewel. There's only area damage. Oh, okay. So this one's really cheap. It's just 5%. And it's got double damage and the jewel. Now, this one would be really nice too, but I want to try to save you as much money as I can, Rick. All right, all right. Because uh, you're Thank you're you. kind of you're kind of poor. Um, have you tried not being poor? It's investments, okay. Most of my uh, most of my stuff is locked up in items, okay. They're, oh, they're, did you buy selling. any of those uh, those NFT items? I heard they were all the rage. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah, that would explain why you're yeah. poor, Rick. Please all do. right, now go ahead and put that in there. And then we're gonna get bark skin. Now you can see that you have bark for skin. Now, if you look at your defensive tab, now you can see you have a lot more. Oh, wow. Jesus. Right. So, um, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the uh, the iron reflexes there. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna upgrade your armor a little bit. So, do you have any granite flasks that you can roll, or even better, maybe we can buy one cheaply. This is probably going to be cheaper because flasks can be expended to roll. So I just sent you a text for a granite to roll there uh, to uh, to buy. Now you've moved away from iron reflexes, and iron reflexes can be really good, but um, I think you're going to be hit like just a lot less now, and you should still have like close to the armor you had before. So if you uh, if you put that armor or flask in, and then you look at your defenses, and then pop the granite flask. Now you have like 26,000. I can't remember what you had before, but this should be pretty similar. And then your evasions kind of go up if you get hit. Make sure that that has quality on it as well. We're all about quality flasks here at Bob's Builds. Now we have quite a lot more suppression. We're going to work on your gloves next. So um, now what I want you to do, I'm going to show you a really cool mechanic there, Rick. And uh, I want you to open the Horty Crafting Bench. Oh, I see. Uh, something that I kind of missed this league. Um, what do you mean? Yeah, I really should have taken it. I, I, I'm learning things from one stage. At You've time, never encountered I, Harvest? You don't know about Harvest? Oh my I god! Don't. I'm going to try to call in. I'm going to phone a friend. I'm going to use one of my lifelines. All right, Rex. So um, I've actually mm -hmm. phoned in a favor from a friend there. And uh, he's going to be contacting you in a second and help you do a craft. Um, He's a Norwegian fella called Huggy. He's really cool. Good friend of mine. There it is. There's my friend Huggy. Very reliable guy. All right. So uh, he's going to magically um, use his axe and uh, you'll have lightning resist now. Does it um, exchange it for the same tier? Yes, sir. Wow, that's actually really powerful. Yeah, it's really great. So uh, it's kind of crazy they haven't been doing harvest there. There's uh, a lot of my other friends were quite upset when that was nerfed. All right, uh, I found you some gloves there. 
Go ahead and buy that. 20 kills. We're trying to be as efficient as possible here. Rick, while mm -hmm. you're buying those, I'm, uh, I'm looking at your helmet here and uh, I'm wondering, are you doing some sort of challenge mode where you're not allowed to use good gear or um, what happened here? <laughs> yeah, this is a, uh, it's a helmet with 40 Intel and uh, I just haven't been able to squeeze that 40 Intel to anywhere else. So we have an int problem, do we? <laughs> yes, Lack of, lacking a lot of Intel over here. Yeah. But what about in-game? <laughs> How much int do you need? Take off your helmet. Take out your flame dash from your bow. Ah. Uh, I should definitely de-level that. Find you an Emily here for quite cheap. We're gonna go ahead and buy that. That fixes your int problems and uh, you can actually have a helmet that's functional. That guy's not replying, so I'm gonna send you another one. Try buying this All right. one. All right. Great. Hardcore sucks. We're gonna buy these and we're gonna craft again. Perfect. All right, go back to your hideout. Then we're gonna use some greed essences again. So ideally you wanna get it on the first try. I'll try. That's not good. You're not very good at this. Try again. Nope. Nope. That's all I got. All right. So um, right now we're gonna use some different resist essences. So the third essence is called hatred. It's what here. Yeah, use that one. Okay. No good. Use the other ones. The one you have four of. Okay. Nope. 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 Hmm. Yeah, that's that's real good. Maybe you have some potential after all. So uh, we can just go ahead and craft life on those. And you can actually go all the way up to 70 life, which is pretty good. All right. No, I said like closer to 70. You're, you need to uh, get it together, Rick. One <laughs> more. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do for now. There we go. Now, uh, the sockets don't matter there. We'll probably, hopefully be able to keep them empty because that is a lot of life. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So now we're going to use some Eldritch currency. So take those out and we're going to throw some on the gloves and some on the boots. So first use a blue one on the glove. No, go again. Do you know why that's that's tempting to keep? Uh, use a red one. Okay. Nope. 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 One more. All right, we might have to buy some more. Right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy this. And uh, next up, I'm going to have you buy some essences for me. Now, I want to see your uh, your best crafting here. All right. Nope. Not very good. Is that your best? Oh, that is good. Hold alt. Amazing. You are good at this. You're a natural. So that what is what we call a hybrid mod. So you can actually go ahead and craft life on that. I mean, indeed. Beautiful. All right, so uh, we're, we're going to go and anoint Divine Judgment. So put your amulet in there. Uh, okay. And then you do a black one, a sepia, and teal. Awesome. Let's do that. Oh. That's a good cheap one. Okay. Very cheap, yep. Yeah. Right, we're gonna we're gonna buy some uh, some ichor, ichor. That's a fun word. And then we're gonna buy some ember. So uh, I think what we're gonna do now is uh, if you can roll your bow, so it has a one blue and one red, and we're gonna life tap that. I think we're actually able to keep the glove movement speed. I mean the boots. Imagine if you were walking with your hands. That'd be great. We can actually just go ahead and force that with the crafting bench, and then just. Uh, yeah, it might cost some because we want to keep all the other ones green. Actually, it's okay if one of them goes red. Red one. There you go. Event, yeah. Beautiful. That's what Perfect. we wanted. Yeah, first time. Nice. Oh, so oh, now um, go ahead and buy a life tap and then put your... Uh, the only thing you're going to be missing is uh, faster attacks. All right. Um... And now in your helmet, you can just put your determination and your grace, uh, I mean, despair. Let's see, so change the colors a little bit. 
We had Agent Bob employ some advanced tech to help with sockets and links. This is a great one to learn. I'm going to show you a neat trick. Okay. Do the one red, one blue. All right. And now in the search bar, type sockets. Okay. Hmm, this might be expensive, so you might, might hate me for this. No, actually, we can make it cheap. I just thought of it. Okay, so do two sockets. Two sockets, yeah. Yeah, Bob's real smart. Bob just had an idea. And then do three sockets. And now you're going to repeat that until you get a red one on the third one. Uh, so two and then three, yeah? Over and over. Yep. So it might take a while, but the way this works is every time you do this, there's a 10% chance that it'll be an off color. So this ends nice. up being a lot cheaper than spending like the 250 chromes because we have a lot of jewelers. It'll be fine. Trust me. I'm a professional. I have an ax. Wish it was a quicker way of doing this. Well, you don't want too much quality of life because if you have too much quality of life, then your hands won't hurt. That's an exactly. important part of playing Path of Exile. There it is. Uh, and now do the four soccer. And we need that to be green. <laughs> That's very unlucky. Do it uh, three socket again. Beautiful. All right. All right. Now we're going to link that, but we actually have to link this especially. We want the uh, the first one to not be linked to the rest. So we want the third, second, and fourth to be linked. So keep using fusings until that happens. Yeah. Does it also, uh, use quality. Uh, uh, does it not stop if it four links? No. Oh, okay. All right, now uh, keep one? going until um, the other three are linked. It's a little bit annoying. It's like technically the rarest outcome. So we just, there we go. That's what we need. So now you put your determination in the top one. And you're going to put your frenzy in the bottom green one and a blue one and then life tap. Oh, I see. That makes sense. That's pretty useful, actually. Bob has some tricks up his sleeve after all. So now your character doesn't use mana anymore. So what we got now is we've got bark skin. We got a lot of damage. And the only thing left for us to do now is to get your uh, implicits using the new currency you bought. So first, get the blue currency, and we're going to use that on your glove. Now, what we ideally want is suppression. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit frustrating to get the exactly. Never mind, you're really good at this. All right, let's do some red ones. I'll just um. Yep. Nope. Yep. Perfect. That's amazing. You're so good at this. Have you crafted a lot before? No. Well, you're good at it. All right. Next up on the boots. Okay. Let's use the uh, the blue ones. No. Nope. What are we looking for? I'm not sure. We're just going to try our luck. All right. Um, no. Nope. 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 You're just getting the same ones. Yeah, poison deals faster would be good. You're hitting <laughs> all the other ones. That's temp. Oh, there it is. There Perfect. Is. All right. Now use the red one. And ideally here we want movement speed or uh, action speed. Okay. There might be some other ones we want too, but. Chaos Rose? No. There we, there there we go. go. All right. And now we're going to do your helmet. We'll do the blue ones first. Physical damage taken as elemental will be quite good. Might be some other ones we'll take too, not that one. 
No. No. Yeah, we'll we'll keep that. That's great. Now do the red one. No. That's not terrible. So we can keep red, that. Sir. We can keep that for now. We're out of reds. Now we're gonna go and fix your skill tree. Do you have any regrets? Um, quite a few actually. Oh, we talk about it again. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah, want to hear you... about your trauma. I don't want you to trauma dump <laughs> on me. I'm just working here, man. I'm not your therapist. Uh, Bob also identified some mistakes with the passive skill tree of this build and worked on improving it. So, um, oh, you have a lot of regrets. I see what you're talking about. So um, now I want you to get rid of the suppression nodes at the bottom. This one's here. Yes, sir. And now you should still have 100% suppression. I now, maybe you can get rid of one of the travel nodes by a quick step. This one here? Yeah, try that. Yep. Amazing. Right. Well, your, your fire resistance is all fucked up. We're going to have to do some swapping. All right, now next up, we're actually going to do something with your boots. So um, I want you to four socket them. And we're actually not going to use these most of the time. But we will at some point. So go ahead and four socket them. Make sure you get some quality on it too. Those are some quality boots. They deserve it. Beautiful. All right, now uh, I want you to get blue, red, red. So just do the one red, one blue in the uh, crafting bench. Mm -hmm. All right, now go ahead and do the uh, the soccer trick again until you get a third red. Yeah, we want a red one. There we go. There it is, by the ax. All right, so you can just go ahead and link those. We don't even need the fourth socket. Oh, oh wait, hmm. No, we don't. Right. So what you need now, uh, you need to link them and uh, you can buy the skill gems wither, increased duration and life tap. Later on, it wouldn't be terrible to get a fourth socket that's blue, but that might actually be quite a lot of droolers. And that would be for faster casting. So the way this works, and obviously we're going to be losing a lot of movement speed here. So you don't actually need to have this for mapping. But whenever later on you're doing like Elder Guardians and stuff like that, if you go ahead and place your totems right now, you can see that they actually last for some time. And when mm. you're just like running around normally, you can wither the boss and you will notice an insane damage increase. Like, it'll probably give you like a million damage. Nice. So you can go ahead and start channeling that and look at it. And uh, it's quite good. Uh, okay. Yeah, and make sure on all your skills, you have always attack without moving take. So the way that would work for a boss is you would like throw that down and then wither. We're going to open up your skill tree. Now uh, on one of your poison masteries, we're actually going to cheat a little bit. And this is going to make the build feel a lot better. So uh, on the poison mastery, we're going to take the uh, enemies you haven't poisoned yet, 300% more damage. And uh, what that'll do is they will not increase your damage at all for your single target, but it'll increase your clear drastically. Go ahead and apply that. That has been applied. Oh, wait, no, it hasn't. Sorry. And then uh, there's a chaos node a little further up that we're going to take, close to the shadow. Oh, yes, this one, yeah. Yeah, take that one. All of them? Amazing. If you see at the um, the shadow start, actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and pick up trickery. The life node there. Up. There's a lot. Life left, node? Up. Up. Left. Oh, this one. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm so sorry. My heart fell off. Look what you made me do. <laughs> Bob's so looking sorry. crazy. Take the life node and then trickery. And then while you do that, Bob's going to try to find his horn. Okay. Look what you made me do. My horn fell off. It just snaps right back uh, in though. How do they work? And we can just do like a basic one just to compare because we didn't have any tank mods before. And after running through the usual procedures, Bob requested Rank to run a map for quality control. Let's see if there were any improvements. This should be insane. You have a lot more defense, a lot more offense, and frankly, your build's like better. All right, I'm with you in spirit. <laughs> Win back your pride. Okay. Yeah. I won't do that right now. Has Bob done a good job? Um, that feels so much better. Yeah, clearing is insane. 
Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's insane. That's what Bob's talking about. That's what Bob's all about. Bob's all about great builds and great clear. That's a, uh, yeah, that's a massive improvement. Yeah, look at that. Everything's dying and you're in a higher tier map than before. Yeah, I was struggling tier eights so and now I'm doing this. So you should also notice that you're a lot tankier. Um, wait, did we fix your resistances? Yes, we did. Though. All right. Most, so mostly. you probably do want to like mix it around here a little bit higher on fire resist. That's because mm. enemies can sometimes curse you. And if you get cursed and die, Bob's going to feel real bad. We we can just continue running and we'll see how the boss oh. plays out. Because I, I think even okay. the boss is going to be really good. All right. And now... For this boss, you can use the wither just to try it out. Now, obviously, you do want to be careful. Even if you only get to wither a little bit, it's going to be a lot more damage. So, but you still don't want to like face tank a lot of abilities. So, you want to just keep your totems down, you wither, and you move. Yep. Sounds good. And then, what you can do, uh, especially if you just want to blast and map, yeah, look at that damage. Oh my god. Yeah. So, okay. you were That's using wither, triple. which is a big fuck up. Weather's insane. So earlier you were struggling against some tier 8 map boss, but now you're shredding a tier 12. This is absolutely insane. It's massively improved my build. I haven't even got my totems down and just deleting him. Not and the then... best boss to really test it out on because of the immunity, but genuinely three, four times the amount of damage I was doing quite easily. Yeah, and uh, there's more. Bob just realized you haven't flipped all your gems, so you can go back to your hideout and we're going to flip your support gems because okay. there's a recipe we can do where we sell a support gem with a level, uh, with a GCP. We do lose the levels. We have to level them back up, but they will get quality. So let's see how many of your support gems are level 20. Um, so you don't want to nope. do that one because that's going to lower the HP of the totems and Honestly, oh, it would yeah. be really good to level a new one. Wait, what are you leveling in your secondaries? Oh my god! Ah, Bob is angry! Why are you wasting money? Alright, the axe is coming out. The axe is coming out. If I can figure out how this works, you're in real trouble. So, you I do want to level... Um, I would level a lot of caustic arrows, because if you can get a 2120, that would be um, a lot of damage. So uh, that's something you want to later on grind lab for. Until then, you should at least level one ballista totem and um, so you can flip it. Until then, just like flip all the support champs you have and uh, that's going to be a lot of damage. So um, yeah, how's your, uh, how's your first experience with Bob there? Absolutely brilliant, especially for it being completely free service. It's uh, amazing. Yeah, it's it's free, and uh, I didn't even have to use my axe. It came close. It came close, but it did. It was uh, <laughs> a little bit touch and go there. It'd be nice to finally get uh, my first level hundred. Um, I've been playing since two thousand thirteen, <laughs> so never reached level hundred. Well, well, you're doing real good there, Rick. So thank you so much for participating, sure. and uh, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed doing this episode with me. I did indeed. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Thank you so much, Rick. Have a great day. All right. Bye-bye. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I wasn't really expecting to do a hardcore guy as my first episode. I just asked some friends if anyone was bad at the game and if they wanted some advice from Bob. So um, let me know what you... What is this, like, technological device, you know? Um, let me know if you liked Bob and uh, if you want to see Bob more in the future. This was uh, quite a long time to make, but... Uh, I'm glad we were able to make a difference and uh, help him out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more of Bob and Bob's axes. Bye. This is the most cringe thing I have ever done 